So Yolanda at the Borderlands uh, Food Bank, through the hydroponic greenhouse that we have at the school's farm, we can produce up to 10,000 pounds of tomatoes annually that we donate to Borderlands. And then the chickens, the laying hen project, we can produce 50 dozen eggs per week and whatever we do not sell is donated to Yolanda at the food bank as well. Hi, we're here today with another episode of our Above the Bar interviews. Today we have Mr. Richard McPherson, who is our ag science teacher and much more, uh, but that's what, what his main real job is. Uh, but he probably has at least 20 other jobs that he does within the, the district, including driving the bus um, for our students. Um, but today we're recognizing Mr. McPherson for, uh, of course, being above the bar, but recently won the Carl Perkins uh, Community Service Award. Uh, so I want to congratulate you on that. But also, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, Richard McPherson, this is my ninth year I'm completing teaching agri-science here at Rio Rico High School. A native Arizona, born and raised in Prescott. I spent several years in the high school classroom back in the 80s, and then I went out to get some real-world experience between the 90s and the 2010s. I've traveled the world basically fly fishing and sitting in duck blinds and Jeep safari tours. And, and then full circle back into to agri-science and, and education. Exactly. I, I had went out and I got some real world experience, some things that I thought I could bring back to the high school classroom and show the students that the world is bigger than whatever community that they're living in, uh, raised in, and that there are many opportunities for them to travel, see the world, experience, and like all good things, return back home to uh, really plant the seeds for growth. So so tell us a little bit about, about this award. So you, you, you had a lot of different community service projects that, that you and the, the team participated in, but, but what does this award really mean? So the Carl Perkins Community Service Award uh, means that our students through project-based instruction serviced our community over a period of time so that most learning is intrinsic, but it's only meaningful when you can give it away to the community. Carl Perkins was a um, big advocate for vocational education. That's where the Perkins, the Carl Perkins funding comes from at the federal level. And he was a philanthropist and he believed in giving away more than he took in. And that's what I think our students here at Rio Rico High School have done over the years. Uh, the, the biggest part of that award was a couple of years ago, uh, we had the opportunity to work with uh, the Walkway Foundation, Jamara Produce, and through relationships, we secured seven semi-loads of fresh produce during a peak season when things were great, and we were able to distribute that produce over seven weekends, starting at the Tucson Fiesta de los Vaqueros Rodeo. We gave away a semi-load, 20 tons of produce there. Another group of students would box the produce up on a, a Thursday night into car packages as opposed to here's a box of tomatoes we'd break down tomatoes squash oranges watermelons peppers into a family sized unit so that on saturday morning the trucks would come pick up that load take it to the distribution center where we were set up for that day 
if it was a church in Glendale, a community center in Tempe, Luke Air Force Base uh, in Glendale, the 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 semis would show up. I would drive a white van full of 14 kids. I'd leave here the parking lot at 5 36 o'clock in the morning, get to that location, unload the semi, and then see hundreds and hundreds of cars come by to help uh, those families that live in those food de deserts or were suffering from, you know, food insecurity. And so it was, that was the bulk of the project. At the and, and so on top of that, we also um, donate locally. Um, so oh, we, definitely. yeah, so, so we have a, a relationship with the food bank, I believe that, that we produce some of our own produce as well as um, our poultry with our, our uh, egg distribution. Correct. So Yolanda at Borderlands uh, Food Bank, through the hydroponic greenhouse that we have at the school's farm, we can produce up to 10,000 pounds of tomatoes annually that we donate to Borderlands. And then the chickens, the laying hen project, we can produce 50 dozen eggs per week and whatever we do not sell is donated to Yolanda at the food bank as well. So, so we've got a, a lot of different projects going on uh, to not only support locally, but also in, in I think it was uh, a region. So we're, we, this award is a uh, region five, which expands kind of over the, the Western part of, of the area. Yes. So it's the 16 Western states Guam, Marshall Islands, and four other uh, island nation territories of the United States. So it's a large area and it encompasses any and all CTE teachers and programs and community service projects in those 22 areas. Uh, one of our distributions for the produce was even in Dallas, Texas at the Arlington, Arlington Texas at a Texas Ranger baseball game. Wow. So the uh, distance for, for the kids and the experience, I'm sure, was, was very, very positive for them. So it's, I'm um, sure, as a teacher, very rewarding to, to not only serve the community, but see the, that the students apply what they're learning. They applied sorting, packaging, sizing, customer service. I'll, heavy on the customer service, uh, OSHA safety in lifting and carrying, dealing with multi-generations of families. So they interacted with adults and grandparents, officers of the Air Force. And one of the highlights after the uh, food distribution, Don Wakamatsu came over to the uh, house and he had his Kansas City Royals World Series ring, and he let all the kids wear that ring and take pictures, and he signed autographs and gave away hats, and um, that was that was pretty neat to see that the kids could touch, you know, a World Series ring. Yeah, that's uh, that's awesome. So uh, I'm, I'm sure that uh, that is uh, kind of a once in a lifetime thing for for many of them to, to see. Uh, a ring like that, which is, is very, very cool. So shifting gears a little bit, um, tell me about some of the other things that, that we're, we're doing um, in the ag science at the at our um, farm. So I know we have some other things going on out there. We had uh, some, some dogs, vet science, and then we have up at the high school, we still have tilapia farm, I'm, I, I believe. So we have a lot of things going on. Um, outside of the the service project, but we still have um, ag science things going on. So, so tell me a little bit about the ag science program. So the ag science program, um, it's Wednesday uh, for this week, and so far this week we've done modified live virus vaccinations of puppies for influenza, parvo, uh, here in the classroom. Uh, just this, uh, then after we finished that, we 
created six, uh, 15 centerpieces for the top 5% banquet for Monday night. And so we did some floor culture with balance, symmetry, color, texture, design, and style. Uh, the farm, we're, um, we're at capacity as far as our pins are, are concerned after we receive uh, three more market hogs for the county fair and they should be coming in Sunday or Monday of this week. So the, the livestock protection dogs are very busy. They've got a lot of new friends and they're protecting everybody there. Um, this week we're expecting a shipment of our, our fresh laying hen chicks. They'll be flown in and they'll be three days old. And so we will grow them up over the summer so that they'll be in egg production in the fall when we come back to school. This morning, I had a shipment of 15 live tilapia um, here at the high school. They came by, they're gonna take them to their 5,000 gallon backyard pond in two back to help maintain their lily garden pond. Uh, so, dogs, cattle, goats, sheep, pigs on the way, new laying hens, puppies, and fish. Um, we're, we're really busy. We haven't rested, uh, even though um, it's been a different year. Yeah, and that, that's what I, uh, reason I asked, because I know we, we are in the middle of the yeah, hopefully towards the end of the pandemic, but we, we didn't stop uh, all of those activities. All, all, uh, the, the chicken still needed to uh, be, be fed and the tilapia still needed to be fed and, and taken care of and um, all of the other upkeep that we have within our, our program and our, our dogs needed to be fed. So, so we never stopped. Yeah, no, we've never stopped and we break as many pipes when they're uh, when the students are in distance learning as we do when they're in class and so when the students came back we've we fixed all our broken pipes we've got probably 60 kids welding this semester and 90 students have all passed their tractor safety and operation uh, certification for this spring and then we had 30 students complete their Ag OSHA 10 hour certification this year. Wow, so that, I mean, that, that's uh, awesome. So, and then uh, the other side of, of things, um, FFA. Um, so that is, is one of the, the highlights for me of the, the year that we usually get to go to the, the banquet and which is all student led. Um, I know you, you organize it, but it's really a, a student led um, event. So uh, we're not going to be able to have that, I, I assume, th this year, but it's still you know, a, just a great event. It's it's a great event. And this year, um, because everything was such a team effort and we didn't participate in um, career development events because of the COVID situation, and we didn't do as we didn't do any traveling that, that we didn't really have the traditional things to celebrate yeah. we have a lot to celebrate and when we can do the celebration in a manner fitting for the work that the kids have done we're going to return back to that tradition uh, but all of their premier leadership development has been virtual and so we've done FFA meetings we're conducting fundraisers still and we're doing those leadership developments at the freshman sophomore junior and senior level uh, we just haven't had that one-to-one -one contact you know experience yeah and like I said I, I know it's a, a great event because it is is a, a very uh, good example of, of students and leadership and, and what they, they learn from that, that servant leadership side of uh, like this award, serving the community, but then 
also having the uh, the discipline and and all the different areas that they they learn uh, through FFA. So um, I'm, I'll be excited when we get to to bring that event back and recognize the, the students' work. Um, anything else you'd like to share about the the Ag Science Program or or Rio Rico High School for that? It's great to have students on campus. I'm looking forward to August when you know we can hopefully uh, be back to the more normal experiences and uh, do everything at a hundred percent. It's, it's kind of hard when you're used to going, you know, a hundred percent, a hundred percent of the time to have your foot on the clutch and on the brake and relaxing the brake and applying. It's just, really tough but uh, when you were talking about that FFA banquet um, pretty much everything here at the high school in the ag program um, is student-led you know they come up with the ideas I help shape their ideas but in reality I'm really just the bus driver <laughs> which is which is what we we appreciate and and we appreciate your you're driving that bus in the right direction and, and getting those kids on the right seat and and lead them to where they need to be. So thank you for, for all your, your work and congratulations uh, for the award. And, and we appreciate um, everything you do for our students, uh, Rio Rico High School and the community and all 16 states in the region for uh, being recognized. So again, thank you and congratulations. Thank you very much.